everyone, it's Jennifer, and I have for you this day in history, September the 1st. So welcome to September. So back on September the 1st in 1972, Bobby Fischer becomes the first American to win the World Chess Championship. In 2004, Chechen separatists storm a Russian school. In 1969, Gaddafi leads coup in Libya. In 1775, King George refuses Olive Branch Petition. In 1850, P.T. Barnum brings European opera star Jenny Lind to New York. In 2001, first Muslim holiday, U.S. postage stamp is issued. In 1864, Atlanta falls to Union forces. In 1983, Korean Airlines flight shot down by Soviet Union. In 1981, a teenage boy murders his father. In 1807, Aaron Burr acquitted of treason. In 1985, wreck of the Titanic is found. In 1998, federal legislation makes airbags mandatory. In 1923, Japan's Great Kanto earthquake kills over 140,000. In 1964, first Japanese player makes MLB debut. In 1971, Pittsburgh Pirates field MLB's first all-black lineup. In 1966, French President Charles de Gaulle urges the United States to get out of Vietnam. In 1917, soldier recounts brush with poison gas. And in 1939, Germany invades Poland. And let's go on to some words of the day. Our first word of the day... Paranomasia. Paranomasia. Noun, Latin, 16th century. It means a play on words or a pun. Examples in a sentence. My favorite paranomasia is the difference between a hippo and a zippo is that a hippo is very heavy while a zippo is a little lighter. The second, I thought paranomasia sounded like a terrible illness, but I learned in English class it's just a fancy word for a pun. Our next word of the day. Situtery. Situtery. S-I-T-O-O-T-E-R-I-E. It is a noun. It is Scottish 1920s. It means a small patio or sheltered area outside a house, suitable for sitting in for relaxation and socializing. Examples in a sentence. In case of rain, we can move the garden party into the situtery. The second, on the weekend, I can relax and read in my situtery for hours. <laughs> it's a crazy word. Our next, our next word is audacious. It is E-D-A-C-I-O-U-S, adjective, Latin, early 19th century. It means relating to or given to eating. Examples in a sentence. Her priority was planning the audacious elements of the party. The second, she knew her audacious uncle would eat at least twice as much as any other guest. Our next word of the day is gamble. G-A-M-B-O-L. It is a verb, Italian, early 16th century. It means run or jump about playfully. Examples in a sentence. The children gamble outside for recess as long as it isn't raining. The second, I love watching the squirrels gamble and play when I take my lunch in the park. Our last word of the day. Disembogue. Disembogue, D-I-S-E-M-B-O-G-U-E. It is a verb of a river or stream, emerge or be discharged into the sea or a large river. Examples in a sentence. The water began to disembogue from the dam, pouring debris into the river. The be second, the best fishing is just south of where the, rob the river disembogues into the sea. Okay. These are some big words. Let's go on to a bit of history. Um, how about the history of Campbell's Soup? Campbell's Soup got its start in 1869 when Joseph Campbell, a wholesale fruit and vegetable vendor, and Abraham Anderson, a commercial canner and packer, formed the firm of Anderson and Campbell in Camden, New Jersey. In 1895, the company's first jar of ready-to-eat soup, beefsteak tomato, was introduced under the leadership of Arthur Dorrance. In 1867, Dr. John T. Dorrance, author's nephew, 
and an academically trained chemist used his expertise to invent the process of condensing soup. This innovation led to Campbell's introducing their now iconic line of canned soups. In 1898, the company debuted its first red and white soup label, soup can label. An executive was inspired by the uniforms he saw while attending a Cornell football game. In 1900, Campbell's won a bronze medal for product excellence at the Paris Exposition. A depiction of it was added to the can label, where it still appears to this day. In 1902, Chef Delise became the first executive chef at Campbell's. In 1905, Campbell's first national ad campaign ran in a popular magazine, in popular magazines like Good Housekeeping. In 1911, Campbell's Soup hit another milestone, national distribution. That was 19, yeah. And in 1911, they hit national distribution. In 1922, the company name was officially changed to Campbell's Soup Company. In 1934, Campbell's Noodle with Chicken and Cream of Mushroom Soups debuted. Noodle with Chicken quickly became known as Chicken Noodle after a radio announcer misread an ad for the soup while on the air. In 1951, Campbell's ran their first TV commercial, and in 1955, Campbell home economist Dorcas Riley created her iconic green bean casserole recipe. The company reports that every Thanksgiving, the recipe is viewed around 4 million times on their website. In 1962, Andy Warhol's iconic Campbell soup can paintings debuted at the Ferris Gallery in L.A. In 1970, the company launched Campbell's Chunky Soup, their first product aimed at men and the official soup sponsor of the NFL. In 1990, the company manufactured its 20 billionth can of Campbell's condensed tomato soup. The following year, the company introduced a heart-healthy line of soups called Campbell's Healthy Request. In 2016, Campbell's, well, yes, soups were introduced with nine offerings to start. Today... Campbell's Soup remains an iconic and popular staple on pantry shelves all across the nation. <coughs> that was a long history. I was kind of shocked. And now about an inspiring quote. I'm looking for one now. Let's find a good inspiring quote. Okay, how about this one? Comes from Gloria Steinem. The first problem for all of us, men and women, is not to learn, but to unlearn. The first problem for all of us, men and women, is not to learn, but to unlearn. Okay. And now for our holidays for today. September the 1st. It is American Chess Day. Bring Your Manners to Work Day. Building and Code Staff Appreciation Day. Cherry Popover Day. Chicken Boy Day. <laughs> uh, College Colors Day. Emma M. Nutton, Emma M. Nut Day. Oh, okay. Ginger Cat Appreciation Day. National Acne Positivity Day. National Chianti Day. National Child Identify Theft Awareness Day. National Child Identity Theft Awareness Day. Okay. Protecting Your Children in a Digitized World. National Food Bank Day. National Lazy Moms Day. National Little Black Dress Day. National Monterey County Fair Day, National No Rhyme Nor Reason Day, National Tofu Day, Pink Cadillac Day, Slovakia Constitution Day, Uzbekistan Independence Day, it is Waddle Day, okay, that is to promote and enhance patriotism in the, the, the new nation of Australia, World Letter Writing Day, for the birthdays, Alexander Vitalis, Okay, uh, Barry Gibbs, Chanel West, Coasts, Dr. Phil's birthday, Gloria Estefan's, um, and Zendaya's birthdays. So there are your birthdays for today. That's a lot of holidays to celebrate today. Oh my. I hope you find one that you like to celebrate. In the meantime, please stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, happy yarning. Bye now.